Hey everyone! Today I'm diving into a major development in the Russia-Ukraine conflict that's got the world buzzing. President Biden has just given the green light for Ukraine to use US-supplied ATACMS missiles to strike targets inside Russia. This is big news and I'm here to break it all down for you. So, what exactly happened? President Biden authorized Ukraine to use these advanced long-range missiles lifting previous restrictions. This marks a significant escalation in U.S. support for Ukraine, which is battling Russian forces on its soil. But why does this matter? The decision aims to boost Ukraine's counteroffensive efforts, especially against Russian troop concentrations and logistical hubs. It's also a clear warning shot to Russia, particularly after reports surfaced about North Korean troops aiding Russia. Unsurprisingly, the Kremlin isn't happy. They've condemned the move, calling it adding fuel to the fire. Moscow warns of drastic consequences and claims this step essentially drags the U.S. directly into the conflict. What about the international reaction? NATO allies are divided. Poland is all for it, praising the U.S. decision while Slovakia sees it as an escalation. Estonia stands firm on their stance against limiting military support to Ukraine. The U.K. and France, meanwhile, are keeping their cards close to their chests. They support Ukraine's right to defend itself but haven't committed to providing similar long-range missiles. Experts are also split. Some say this move might be too late to significantly change the war's trajectory. Others believe it could slow Russian offensives and give Ukraine a critical window to prove its resilience. To add context, this decision comes as Russia ramps up its attacks on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure. And with President-elect Trump's stance on Ukraine still unclear, there's a lot of uncertainty about future U.S. support. Key figures in this unfolding drama include President Biden, Ukrainian President Zelensky, Russian President Putin, and several NATO leaders. Each of these players is navigating a complex web of military, political, and international pressures. So, what does this mean going forward? The situation remains incredibly fluid, with high stakes for all involved. As always, I'll keep you updated as more details emerge. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. See you next time.